StadiumDB.com presents Ranking Premier League Stadiums Season 2024-25 The Premier League is called the best football league in the world by some and the most overrated by others. The truth probably lies somewhere in the middle and in between the ins and outs of the game it is impossible not to mention the stadiums. In this video we are going to show you all the Premier League venues, especially for you, our editorial team held a poll according to which the ranking was made. Each of us had to award points for the stadiums, from 1 to 20. One point corresponded to the worst venue and 20 points to the best. We then calculated averages from the points and that's how the list of 20 stadiums came about. We'll start with the stadium we think is the worst and end with the best. 20th place Vitality Stadium Capacity 11,307 AFC Bournemouth Probably couldn't have been more different. Most members of our editorial team gave the stadium just one point. The attendance record was still set at the old venue in 1927 when Bournemouth took on Manchester United. The match was watched by 28,799 people. The team is currently doing better than the stadium itself. Bournemouth have stayed in the league two seasons in a row and it looks like the team is heading in the right direction. Perhaps a stadium that is newer than one that has survived two world wars would help in achieving even better results. 19th place Selhurst Park Capacity 25,486 Crystal Palace The first London stadium on a list, the third smallest stadium in the Premier League, is not one of the prettiest. Under one of our posts on Instagram, a user wrote, Why are the stands of the stadiums in England different? Indeed, each one is distinct, but according to some fans, such venues have a charm about them. However, the club's authorities don't want to look back. Plans to refurbish the 100-plus-year-old arena have already been made. And if they come to fruition, Selhurst Park maybe move up to 18th place. 18th place, Portman Road. Capacity 29,673, Ipswich Town. Ipswich Town returned to England's top division after 23 years. The new Premier League club was obliged to make a few changes to the venue to make it fit for the requirements of the division. But if Luton Town's stadium succeeded, anyone can probably succeed. Work on the facility, which is located in a not very large town in the east of England, has been valued at several million pounds. But it will be worth it, unless Portman Road turns into a training ground for Erling Haaland. 17th place Goodison Park, capacity 39,572, Everton FC. It's time for the smaller of the two stadiums the city of Liverpool boasts in the Premier League. Fortunately, this will be the stadium's last season in the Premier League. Perhaps also Everton's last season. It depends on how many points deducted the Toffees have this time. The decision to move to Goodison Park was made by the Everton authorities back in the 19th century after failing to tie the club's future to its previous leased venue, Anfield. It won't be long before the club faces a second change, with the team from the blue side of Liverpool moving to a new venue at Bramley Moor Dock in 2025. 16th place, Craven Cottage, capacity 28,500, Fulham FC. Although its history dates back to 19th century, this was the ninth venue for Fulham, making the London club one of the two teams with the most venues, second only to QPR, who lead the way with 14 stadiums. Throughout this history, the cottage has undergone many upgrades, but it's considered one of the most traditional venues in England. However, there are more changes lined up, one of which is a swimming pool to appear on the roof of the arena. Only the biggest diehards will use it on the November evening during the match against Wolverhampton. 15th place, City Ground, capacity 30,445, Nottingham Forest. We are moving right up to the River Trent. The existing lease on the City Ground Stadium, where the Reds have played since 1898, 
has been term limited and talks of a renewed 250-year lease have stalled. The city authorities say they want to increase the annual rent to £1 million. Currently, their figure stands at £250,000. However, at the moment, Forest are rather tentative about moving to a brand new facility. The fans are more adamant they want a new arena and that they and the club deserve. 14th place Molina Stadium Capacity 31,700 Wolverhampton Wanderers The team from the city northwest of Birmingham has established itself in the Premier League for good. The votes on this venue in our editorial team were very divided. In the end, the arena finished in a not too high place. The ground on which the stadium stands has a rich history, dating back to the 18th century. It was then, in 1744, that the Molina family bought the land on which they erected a house, later transformed into a hotel named after them. Over the years, or even centuries, the stadium has undergone numerous upgrades, so that today we can see quite a welcoming facility. 13th place, King Power Stadium, capacity 32,261, Leicester City. Leicester is one of the oldest English cities having been founded by the Romans. The venue where the Foxes celebrated the English Championship is quickly returning to the Premier League and with it indestructible Jamie Vardy. Compared to the previous stadiums in our ranking, the Leicester Arena looks like a million dollars. Inaugurated in 2002, the venue is the result of the club moving out of Filbert Street. The team eventually relocated 150 meters away. That's why some Foxes fans still refer to the stadium as Filbert Way. 12th place, St. Mary's Stadium, capacity 72,384, Southampton. The need for a new stadium in Southampton had been talked about since the mid-1980s, with the club then at the height of its popularity reaching the English Vice Championship in 1984. At the stadium's inauguration in 2001, fans saw four goals scored by Espanyol. Of course, that was just the beginning. The venue has also experienced nine goals by Leicester. 11th place, American Express Stadium, capacity 31,876, Brighton & Hove Albion. This is arguably the most picturesque stadium in the Premier League. The venue is surrounded by the hills of the South Downs, which are part of the protected area of the same name. The land is an international dark sky reserve, one of only 16 of its kind in the world. However, as one member of our editorial team said, I look at the stadium, not the hills, giving the Amex just five points. For English, Arena's Brighton's facility is relatively new. It opened in 2011. You'll know the top 10 Premier League stadiums according to us in a moment. But feel free to write your top 10 in the comments and don't forget to like the video. Thanks! 10th place, Stamford Bridge, capacity 40,173, Chelsea FC. Inaugurated in 1877, the stadium had a running track for the first decades and was used for athletics competitions. Perhaps that is why the players who perform there today sometimes find it difficult to play football. In recent years, there has been a lot of talk in West London about expanding Stamford Bridge or looking for another site to build a new facility. For now, however, Chelsea are staying at the legendary stadium, which could be quite a lot bigger given the size of the club. 9th place, GTEC Community Stadium, capacity 17,250, Brentford FC. As the plot of land purchased by Brentford has a triangular plan bounded on three sides by railway tracks, fitting a stadium into it was no small challenge. Most impressive were the structural savings. By slimming down the design, it was possible to reduce the use of reinforced concrete by 50% and still by 30% compared to the original documentation. The result is an inexpensive but cozy and distinctive Premier League stadium. 8th place, Villa Park, capacity 42,530, Aston Villa. The stadium became the home of Aston Villa in 1897 for an annual fee of 300 pounds. 
In its early days, the venue was home to a cycling track. In addition to Aston Villa matches, it hosted the 1966 World Cup and equally, 30 years later, Euro 1996. After more than 40 years, the Champions League is also returning to Villa Park. Meanwhile, plans for the club's future include expanding the venue to 50,000 seats. At that point, the Birmingham Arena will probably also find itself higher in our ranking. 7th place, St. James's Park, capacity 52,257, Newcastle United. The oldest existing stadium in the northeast of England and also one of the most iconic football venues in the world. Despite its sizable size, the stadium is still packed to capacity and attendance at Magpies matches has also been helped by the team's good form in recent years. All of these reasons add up to the plans to expand the stadium. If the stands could be made more equal, St. James's Park would become even more massive. 6th place, Old Trafford, capacity 74,031, Manchester United. From the theatre of dreams to the site of England's fourth highest waterfall, Old Trafford has many faces. The Premier League's biggest stadium is not ageing beautifully. The venue is in need of modernisation and the minority owner has big plans for this investment. Sir Jim Ratcliffe intends to turn Manchester United's stadium into the Wembley of the North and wants to apply for government funding to help with the refurbishment. The Old Trafford interference would cost around £250 million and would increase its capacity to 90,000 seats. Fifth place, London Stadium, capacity 62,500, West Ham United. Back to the heart of the Premier League, London. Originally built for the 2012 Olympics, the stadium was built on a design that allows it to host a variety of events, including football matches, concerts and other mass events. Interest in Hammers matches is far greater than the capacity of the stands and it would be advisable to expand the arena. To this end, the East London club has a plan to increase it to 68,000 seats. Fourth place, Anfield. Capacity 61,000, Liverpool FC. The Reds' legendary venue has undergone redevelopment in recent years. More than 60,000 fans can now enter the stands of the stadium. This is the 13th major upgrade in the history of the facility, which was inaugurated in 1884. The next phase of construction was symbolically started by Jurgen Klopp, sticking in a shovel, and since then it has shined the stadium as well as the German coach Teeth. Also symbolic was the recent completion of the stand's expansion, which coincided with the coach final season and his farewell celebration. What will Liverpool's new start be at a ready Anfield? Third place, Etihad Stadium, capacity 53,400, Manchester City. The Eastlands site was earmarked for a major Olympic stadium, but City's bid to host the 2000 Olympics did not prove victorious. Instead, Manchester City, who won the English Championship for the fourth year in a row, is proving victorious. Efforts similar to those carried out at Anfield in recent years are underway around the Etihad. The South Stand has already been extended and work is now looking at the one of the other side. When completed, the stadium will be able to accommodate more than 62,000 fans. It will then equal in size not only Liverpool's facility, but also that of Arsenal, Tottenham and West Ham. Second place, Emirates Stadium, capacity 60,704, Arsenal FC. The first seat in the new stadium was ceremonially installed by Arsenal midfielder Abu Dhabi. Known for the frequent injuries and nicknamed Glass Man, he apparently brought back luck to Queen Elizabeth II herself, who did not attend the official opening of the stadium a few months later due to a back injury. When it opened in 2006, the venue was the second largest football venue in the Premier League and the third largest in England. The runners-up stadium in our ranking also had to give way to another arena, however, better second place than fourth. First place, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, capacity 62,850, Tottenham Hotspur.
Spurs in first place in one sentence? Thanks to the stadium, it's possible. There was no doubt in our editorial team, everyone handed full points to this venue. No first row seat in the entire stadium is more than 8 meters from the sideline or end line. Fans are close to the events on the pitch but also to the toilets. There are as many as 471 of these on the ground, 84% of which are for women. Impressive too is the special retractable pitch with a second artificial pitch underneath it which is used for NFL matches and other events. This and much more makes Tottenham Hotspur Stadium one of the best sports facilities in Europe. We conclude our ranking in North London and now it's time for you. Write in the comments which stadium deserves a higher place. Finally, we also remind you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next materials.